as everybody knows, this election is going to come down to very few key battleground states. These are states like Florida, Virginia, Ohio, and now increasingly Pennsylvania is coming into play because of uh, the kind of uh, uh, advertisements that uh, the Mitt Romney campaign has, uh, has been running in this state. That have lured thousands. Barely two days to the elections, President Barack Obama's campaign team spread around the country is stepping up its on-the-ground mobilization campaign to ensure victory come Tuesday. When they come in, we set them up, we give them a script, which is very specific to whatever our goal is. Now, right now, our goal is to get out the vote in the past two days. So that we get them on their phones, and we just call them up and we remind them how important the election is. Uh, it's a choice between two very, very different people with different ideals, and just to get that extra push out the door. The Obama campaign, known for its effective grassroots mobilization techniques, was late Sunday brimming with confidence that they will carry the day. Romney's not, all those swing states, Romney is not gaining in any of them. What it is is that Republicans have money, and money is power here in the United States. And can, sometimes it can be misconstrued for evil. So what Romney does is that he has all these wealthy people that support him, and he has not a leg to stand. He does not have Pennsylvania. He does not have Florida. He does not have Iowa. He does not have Colorado. But he spends the money to convince the people to confuse them that he got that state and he don't have it because he has the money to run those ads. A few hours to the elections, the rest between President Obama and his challenger, former Governor Mitt Romney, still remains too close to call even though President Obama holds the lead in key swing states. I think in terms of the predictions, right now um, when you look at very many polls, especially in terms of the Electoral College, um, it looks like if um, Obama was to win states such as Ohio, Colorado, Nevada, um, and all these other states, you know, especially states like Pennsylvania, which are already leaning, leaning blue, um, then he has a very strong chance of winning um, the Electoral College votes. Um, so I guess that is what the, the battle is right now. Um, so the swing states are really where a lot of the action is going to take place. Pennsylvania, a state that Obama easily won in 2008, and one that for a long time was presumed to be solidly democratic has come into play recently because the Romney campaign has flooded the Commonwealth state with anti-Obama advertisements. Typically, Pennsylvania is a democratic state. We had a great democratic uh, governor um, in Ed Rendell, and um, Ed Rendell, I know, is very active in uh, you know, going out and working with the base here in Pennsylvania. Um, all the polls, and I, my background uh, earlier on in my life, I did a lot of statistics, pretty well indicate that Pennsylvania is going to go for Barack Obama, and we're, you know, very excited about that, and we're, uh, I feel very confident he's going to be the next president. I really do. As everybody knows, this election is going to come down to very few key states, uh, states like Florida, uh, Ohio, uh, Virginia, but increasingly Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is showing up on the map because of the kind of adverts that um, the Mitt Romney campaign has been running in the state. So uh, just to forestall any surprises, uh, the Obama campaign has sent an army of volunteers that are going around the state of Pennsylvania knocking on doors and reaching out to those to the few undecided uh, Americans who are going to actually determine uh, who wins these elections. Back to you in the studio.